Alright, two spells for the Starless here. Ooh. Leveled up Soraka. How are you doing? They got the plus two, plus two. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Soraka Braum. Definitely my kind of deck. This is going to be a deck that I'm going to really enjoy playing here on this casual Friday. It's got Braum, probably my favorite champion. Howling Abyss, definitely my favorite card. This is going to be just a defensive deck. I like playing defensive decks with that we're going to be blocking a lot. Soraka, Braum, Broadback Protector. These are cards that are really good at blocking. We got Astral Protection, help us block quite a bit. And then for winning the game, we're going to have like two copies of Star Spring, only two. I'm actually cutting this down. Um, obviously, the first Star Spring is great to have because this is going to be probably the main win condition. But if you have like three of them, like drawing multiple Star Springs isn't really necessarily that great. And so we're only going to just play two, two uh, Star Springs. Because we have other ways to win. We also have, like I said, like the Howling Abysses. We have Feel the Rush. Um, so, you know, like we're going to have other win conditions at, at the top end as well. Um, but the reason why these work really well with Star Spring, this card says heal damaged allies one at the round end. And once I've seen you heal 22 plus damage from allies, you win the game. Regeneration counts as healing your damaged ally. So whenever you have Braum challenge like a 3-3 and takes three damage, round end regenerate back to being an 05 then that star spring counts as three for the healing towards the 22 for for winning the game so we have the brahms with re regeneration we have scar maiden reaver with regeneration and then we even have troll gifts to grant either soraka or broadback protector regeneration also plus of course troll gifts is just great on a brahm giving it the plus two plus two for early drops, we got Mountain Goat with the gem that can help, you know, give Braum a power or, you know, do some healing for the Star Spring. And for Soraka, we got Starlet Seer that if we play a Starlet Seer early and we get a few plus one, plus ones, especially on like a Braum and make a Braum like, you know, plus three, plus three or something like that, like that, that can completely change the game. So we're going to have those two as our early drops. And uh, that's going to kind of be it. So we're basically just kind of going to try to block a lot. Stay alive, get like Howling Abyss, feel the rush out, or um, buff up Braum quite a bit, or win with Star Spring. Those are going to be our options. So let's give it a try. We'll go play our five games in ranked with Soraka Braum. Go into the holiday board, the winter holiday board. Oh, no. So our. We just want to block, right? Like that's we want to like block against aggro decks. That's really what we're set up for. That's what we're trying to do. Um, a deck from my opponent just playing a whole bunch of like big eight eights. That's not going to be very easy to block. So that's why I want to keep the astral protection, so that if we. Yeah, we find like a Soraka, maybe we can have Soraka like Astral Protection or something like that. Alright, well, I really hope they don't have any three sisters. They don't have three sisters. I think we have a chance. The cold creeps in. They don't have three sisters. Is it the boosters? Who knows? It is not. Brom can Brom can do some work. These old eyes still see far. And so basically I'm saying three sisters because that's in tomb. Yeah, Braum's gonna do work, honestly. Cause then cause each time like when with those astral protections with the Braum, 
it blocks the 8-8, it heals back for 8, like that's, with that Star Spring, like we're gonna, we're actually gonna turbo that up really fast. So we got a doggo in the bed, we'll go back over towards me a little bit. Sejuani Gangplank. Gotta go. Over here or Bounty Bowl knows the name. The dead don't be rich. All right, and we're playing. I don't want to give them plunder, right? Like you, you really want to block in this matchup. I don't want to give them plunder. Every step, a new journey. By Starlight. I can just play this Soraka just so... Because, you know, Soraka's three mana, so I have four mana now, so I can go, like, Star Spring plus Starless here. Play Starless here first. Be nothing left when I'm done. Alright, just kind of setting up. I rarely forget and never forget. That's why we respect you, Captain. Do you think they'll trade Gangplank for Scar Maiden Reaver? By snow and stars. Live with purpose. I'll cut my name into you. Dang, they will. Wow. I wasn't strong enough. I did not want them to. That was a perfect mega rank kill on that Starless here. Okay, so not great for me. But we still got Soraka chilling out here. Pain is nothing. If I go Troll Gifts, Troll Gifts, that's adding on f only two health, so it goes to six. So if they have Parlay, it would kill... Oh, no, because... Would Soraka level up? No. No, Soraka would not level up, so... So let's just go... Let's go the Astral Protection. That does level up the Soraka. But now it won't die to Parlay, but it doesn't have the regen. Yes. Get some Brom. Brom is on the job. Brom. You have nothing to smile the job. about. Soraka Brom. These are gonna do some work. Suppose you want in on this. Oh, suppose I should leave you be. Hmm. I don't know. I guess I guess I'm a little scared of Monster Harpoon. Good luck. Have fun. Take heart. I guess I'm a little scared of Monster Harpoon. Killing the killing the Braum, which I guess it could still kill the Braum. I should challenge the two two then, shouldn't I? Yeah, I should challenge the T2. We at least get the 3 3, though. But yeah, I just walked. I still walked it. I just said that I was scared of Monster Harpoon, and then I still just walked right into it. Like, what am I doing?
my mind I was thinking about like the 11 power that Soraka had. That's all right. We got we got feel the rush coming next round. Go no further. All right. I mean that that's a good make it rain for me. Get everything to have a little bit of damage on it. Only the strong survive. That's a good thing. Hmm. I could give Soraka regen, but Soraka already has the ability to attack then regen. I'm not doing anything else with the card. Oh. Okay, this is two, four, six, eight, ten going at Soraka. Wow, they are really lucky. They are very lucky. Wow, they are very lucky. Nexus healing does not count towards the Star's Brain. It's only healing allies. Because even if that was... If, if, if four of the six went to Soraka, I could keep Soraka alive, and then they're, like, dead with the Star Spring. They had to have five out of the six hit Soraka. And that's what happened. But I still got 10-10 Soraka, 10-10 Braum. Yeah. <laughs> we still good. We still good. See? Trust Braum. Okay. Soraka Braum, 2-0. Oh. Alright, Twist of Fate Swain. So, Leviathan can be a problem. They have all their stuff is like deal damage to kill things. But they also oh they have like scorched earth. Oh man, scorched earth is a real problem. And and guillotine. Alright, this is Yeah, this is gonna be a bad matchup. I'm not expecting to win this. I think they're gonna be able to kill my big regen stuff fairly easily. Yeah, I think they're they're gonna try to kill this. Yep. I do not want that Starless here to die. That's the thing, like if I if I just played Soraka, they they play this make a rain and the Starless here dies. Howling Abyss! Like a fish in water. <laughs> mm. This world has such great potential. Okay, let's do this. Go no further. Let's not ruffle our feathers. I understand. I can be patient. You are. 
are better than this. I understand. Pillage and burn. I'm sorry, Starless here. So I wanted to watch out for like Scorched Earth and like see if like maybe, you know, maybe invite them to like play a Scorched Earth first. That's not killing my, um, you know, my Howling Abyss. You get to block there and trade with the goat. Live with with the free one. Yes! They passed! They passed! We get a champion! Ooh, a Jarvan! Dude, Jarvan's so good. I haven't played Scout Teemo yet. No, I have not. That is not a style of deck that I have played yet. Alright, so we can level up Soraka now. Because of that attack. Probably should put, put probably should put both on the Star Main Reader. It's fairly easy to see that that's what they wanted to do. So that's their just third normal ravenous flock. Yeah, they just had all three. We put both on the Scarmain Reaver. I wanted to give Soraka a little bit more power. The Star Child. I'll clear a path for you. Good to see you too, Finn. Jarvan's just a 7-5. Nautilus? I'll protect you. By starlight. With me. Take heart. All right. Well, because of the bastion. Want to do this now? We have eight eight power kill. <clears throat> kill Leviathan. Like, Nautilus is going to be big. Alright, got rid of a Leviathan. Whoa, Renekton? Dude, Howling Abyss is so much fun. Now we have, we have the Renekton-Jarvan combo where we can have Renekton challenge for free. I don't know, I'm just gonna play this thing. It's a 13-13 Fearsome Tough. I'm just gonna play that. Okay. So they can't play Swain. Or never mind, or they can't play Swain. I 
I didn't think they could play Swain, but I guess they can. <laughs> yep. GG's! Howling Abyss! Getting a Jarvan, we got that Clutch Bastion. And then... Uh, Nautilus. Ooh, Aurelia Azir. This is the best attacking deck in the format. I don't really have removal. Like, those champions are going to be super scary. Okay, so we have Troll Gifts Braum. Basically, we have Troll Gifts Braum. Avalanche would be really good, but if they if they have a bounce spell, um, you know, on, on if they bounce my Braum, we likely lose. If they don't bounce Braum, we got a good chance of winning. So that's what that's what the game is. Hope they don't draw one of their bounce cards. Their own like the recall the enemies things. <laughs> Can't even attack. Can't even attack. Whoa, Desert's Wrath. Dude, they are all about these hand soldiers. That is not great for my mountain goat. So I feel like maybe I need to actually just give troll gifts to the mountain goat. I guess I can pass and just do that next round. Ooh, Starlet Seer. Good thing I passed. Okay, so I'll have five mana. The desert, by for Starlet Seer. We see through all. Stand behind Bro. An auspicious season. All right, two spells for the Starless here. Ooh. Leveled up Soraka. How are you doing? They got the plus two, plus two. It looks like we're about to be 4-0. That's what it's looking like. All right, they had the Defiant Dance. They needed that to keep it respectable. Go no further. <laughs> Let's not ruffle our feathers. Be at peace. Right, I'm gonna. I don't really need to do that. It's gonna be fourteen. These eyes see all. Take heart. Spears ready. Yeah, so I was worried about that divine dance to begin with, but then you know, since we've, oh, man, they, <laughs> yeah, I guess they got more of them. But with with all the other cards that we've drawn, um, all right. Our Star Spring's up to 16. I'm glad they didn't homecoming the Star Spring. I wonder if they realized that they could homecoming Star Spring. Do y'all think they thought about that at all? We shall weave our own destiny. You are safe with Brawl. Just don't really need to flash freeze that thing. Could have, but just don't need to. Uh, 
Avalanche. Alright, fair enough. We'll get a deny out of their hand. All right, so that's 22, so they got to have another homecoming out of those two cards. But then even if they do, like, how how are they possibly winning? I don't know. Looks like they're not. That's what our deck does, just plays defense. Just, just block. Blocking is fun. And we're 4-0. The stars will remember this day. Ooh, auction. This is probably a Howling Abyss auction deck. Because we're playing Howling Abyss and they love to pair you against the same kind of decks. So we're probably playing against another Howling Abyss deck. Oh yeah, I like the Seer. Yes, I had I had Starlet Seer the last time I played this deck uh, in it. And I, I decided, like, I was thinking Mountain Goat was going to be really good, so I took out the Starlet Seer for the Mountain Goat. For a little bit, but then uh, I think you're right. So like, I didn't really consider taking out the Blue Sentinel, and yeah, I think that taking out Blue Sentinel is the thing to do and play. These two are the two best two drops, Blue Sent. I was kind of fixated of like having to have Blue Sentinel in here. Wow. All right, so far so good for their all-in auction deck. Wow. You like it? I mean, shut up and fight. Round, round three. Like this thing's already done. Wow, that's impressive. Uh, I guess I need to gem. I need to gem. Yeah, I need to gem there to turn this into a three-three. To be able to block auction. I guess auction's a 3 2, though, so maybe it'll be okay. Brom! Oh, you're welcome, Protector. It says, thanks for always being creating and testing new decks. That gives a fresh air to the game. Well, you are welcome. I am always happy to. For sure. I love, love playing new decks. Sand and trouble far as the eye can see. Fight. Oh, I can't. Uh, okay, we have. I don't know. We have another troll chant. I say I was gonna have my my mana for flash freeze, but don't have that mana for flash freeze. Trying to kill auction. They're gonna have all their things have plus two, plus two, and spell shield. I'm not gonna frostbite that thing, but I'm worried, you know, I'm, I need to protect Brom. Ooh. 
Twisted Fate can do some work. Oh, yeah, Twisted Fate can do some work. Now, where was I? Try to play stuff for blue card, gold, blue card, red card. No, we'll just, we'll just let that happen. Alright, so this turns into a 6 7. Why don't why don't I play the gem on the Shivana first so it's a 7-7? Seven, seven. But they should just have all like pump spells and stuff anyway, they're just gonna save their units, right? I think they got me with the sent with they just had a, a perfect hand with that round two auction and the multiple elixir of irons and everything, and then round six howling, but I think they got me. I don't really envision this going my way. You've got a problem, I've got a price. Yeah. Shivana's just here. Yeah, game too early. Next game is the Shivana game. I keep drawing these units too. I need to stop drawing these units. They have a bunch of pump spells. I don't have a good plan. Yeah, Starspring. Starspring would have been huge this game. Alright, them passing is good for my Twisted Fate. Twisted Fate busts up spell shields. What's my biggest follower that's died this game? Like, I don't even know. Is it Mountain Goat? <laughs> yeah, it's just Mountain Goat. Who says I don't share? This just stuns the strongest enemy, kind of no matter what. Oh, good call, good call. I should be attacking with the 3-3 also, good call. Yeah, I should be attacking with the 3-3 also. I'm just gonna be covering it up anyway, with like the Star Spring, most likely. Man, Lucian had to be the champ. <laughs> Between. 
Yeah, they really have been hitting on their best, haven't they? Lucian, Sivir, Sejuani. Sure, hope they don't have like too many more pump spells. Too many more spells at all. Mm. We have to draw spells. We can't keep drawing units. We need spells. Spell, please. We need a spell. Basically, any spell. Just something I can play for Twisted Fate. We just need a spell. Okay. It's a spell. Burn away the shadows. I guess they got me. Yeah, I had to switch Braum and Shivana, didn't I? I just didn't want Braum to die. <laughs> I really didn't want Braum to die, but I guess I had to switch. I can't do anything against more buff spells, like more, if they have anything else. Even if they don't have anything else. Easy. Stand behind Rob. You're bluffing. <sighs> Gotta trust your instincts. They don't have anything else. We love what? Them. Really? What are they doing? Why not just put that on the sieve immediately and then just I'm dead? Everything's got overwhelmed. Like, what are they? What are they doing? Like, I don't even know what they're doing right now. Like, they, they easily have lethal by just casting this card kind of anywhere. They could put it right there. They could put it right here. They could put it right here. They just play that card anywhere and it's lethal. Like, obviously, they have another attack, so it's not like it's not like I'm going to win. But, like, why, do, why don't they just play their card and kill me? Oh, well. Next time, we will do better. We're getting out Howling Abyss. <laughs> Yesterday we played Howling Abyss one time and our opponent out Howling Abyss us, and today we played Howling Abyss one time and our opponent out Howling Abyss us. So the two times that I've actually cast a Howling Abyss in the last two days, my opponents have had just better Howling Abysses. But they had a, a perfect hand, right? Round two auction uh, with, the, uh, with the Elixir of Iron on round two, right? Being able to play auction, Elixir of Iron, and then Vagabond on the round three. It was just a you know, perfect hand for, for leveling up the auction immediately. And then they get they get the Sentinel, and so their Sentinel plus their Abyss was pretty good. But yeah, Sejuani. Sejuani was a huge problem there, obviously. But yeah. Alright, well, good game. Good game. Um and they also had their three sisters to get rid of my Twisted Fate for a couple of rounds. That was big. I didn't have a three sisters to get rid of, you know, like a Sejuani for a couple of rounds. They just, you know, out, out beat us in a similar mirror match. Anyway, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, um, hopefully y'all enjoyed the deck. I, re I really hope you did. I definitely did. Like, this is definitely my kind of deck. I think this kind of deck's pretty strong. There are lots of people just trying to attack lots of Sivir decks running around right now that are just doing a bunch of attacking. I think this deck's strong against Aurelia Azir, as we saw how like that one played out, even though it's kind of a weird Aurelia Azir hand and they didn't have a champion, but it was still a, a you know, a really impressive showing there. I think just just being able to block, there's not many people doing it, and therefore you can have an advantage over other people trying to do the blocking. And that's true, yeah, if we would have had the Star Spring round two in that last game, we would have won that Braum 
easily healed for 22 that game. So, Oh, well. All right, but that's going to be it here for Sir Raka Brom. Uh, so, yeah, so leave those comments. Let me know. Let me know if you if you all enjoyed it. Um, hopefully you did. Like I said, if you try it out yourself, let me know how it goes for you. Hopefully you all are enjoying the decks. But that's going to be it for this deck. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.